Here we go. Had a problem with my bees. If you guys followed my last video, you saw me feed. You saw me um, harvest some honey from the bees. When I harvested, I sprayed some stuff on a cloth cover, put it on top of the bees. Uh, I took this feeder off and then I put it on top of this and it worked great, got rid of the bees. We got the honey out of it. But then when I put this back on to feed, they wouldn't come up and drink anymore. This thing sat full for two weeks while the one next to it, which I didn't spray that on, didn't have a problem at all. And the bees were still feeding out of that one. So I thought this one somehow got clogged up and it was getting clogged up. If you see these little, this is, this is a top feeder. Um, the blue thing there sits in the rack over there and then it sits on top of your hive. These little holes up here are so they can drink. It's also got vents down there and it's got vents right here in the bottom. Maybe you can see this one better. Vents right down here in the bottom that allows the juice in. Then the bees come in and the bees crawl all the way up here and they can go down a little bit. It gives them a way to get in and get that juice out of there. Uh, there's a wayward bee looking for some juice right now. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe they went in and they sealed these up and, and we weren't getting any juice in there. And that was part of the problem. So I went ahead and I tore this apart. I scrubbed, I, I pulled this center cap off. I pulled these off and I scrubbed around the edges. So now I know juice can get up in there. But I think the bigger problem I have is they smell that clove, that clove spray that we sprayed in there. Um, very popular, I guess, to use, but I don't think these people have feeders on top of their hives and that's why it works for them. I don't think I'll be using that again. I think we'll try this next time. I've got these out in the sun. I'm letting them dry, trying to get rid of some of that smell. And then I'm gonna spray some, um, there's a couple of natural uh, oils that they do like, and I'm going to find whichever one works best. And then I'm gonna spray that on the wood and let that dry before I fill it up and put this back on the hive. So if you guys are wondering why all of a sudden your feeders aren't emptying, it could be because you use one of those clove sprays to get them off the top of the hive and didn't use smoke. And that's how you got rid of your bees off of your frames that you were pulling out. But now you can't get them up to the feeder to actually uh, drink out of the feeder. So hope that helps and um, hope it solves the problem you guys may be running into like we did. Thanks for watching.